Okay, the way to log into your website is you go to forward slash wp dash admin and oh, I'm already logged in. So what I'll do is I'll log out just so you can see it. I take it you know how to do this already. When you go to wp dash admin, it gives you the username password. So you put in your username and the password login. And it takes you straight to the dashboard. Now, the best way I'd say for you to manage your site is just go back to the site so you can actually see it. And you'll see the horizontal navigational bar up here. So if you want to make any changes, I'll go to About Us, for example. And you just go to Edit Page with the pencil on the left. This is the content field. So you scroll down and there's this extra line that I've put in. Call us today to find out more or book us for your next job. So I'll just place it, shorten it to call us today to find out more full stop. And then update. So you press the blue button on the far right. Update. And we'll go to asbestosplus.com.au again. About us. And when you scroll down, you'll see the change has been made. Call us today to find out more, and that's how you double check it. Now, uh, these are all the information pages. So, for example, if you want to go to house demolition and make an adjustment in the copy for whatever reason, just go to edit page, and it takes you to the contents. So you just make your change there, and you press the blue button to update. Now... I'm more interested to show you how to add new projects. Uh, so that would be your portfolio section. That's your gallery. So we click into portfolio. This is a new one that I've created. So what I'll do is I'll just delete it. Um, edit post. And uh, move to trash. Great. Okay, so that's how it's listed here. Uh, but to make it easier for you, we'll go back to the website, portfolio, and for example, you may want to make a change to asbestos exposure. So you click onto the left icon. It takes you to the landing page. I don't know what this is. This is some kind of a flaw in the programming because because the image is not meant to be this distorted. Uh, that's how it was set up by previous um, people who set up, originally set up your website. We'll go to Edit Post. And this is the caption. So you may want to change it to, due to the fact that... Uh, this shed is fully laden with old and dangerous asbestos, for example. You update that. Go back to the gallery or the portfolio section. Click onto that button. And we go to asbestos exposure. And if you read the caption down here, it says, due to the fact this shed is fully laden with old and dangerous asbestos. So that change has been made. And when you click onto the left icon, you'll see it's there as well. Now, if you want to add a new portfolio item, we'll go to, we'll go to the dashboard. So you go to Asbestos Plus and then you'll see Dashboard underneath that. And we go to Portfolio in the vertical navigational bar and then Add New. So the new one you would call uh, New Asbestos Project. I'll leave it for you to rename it to something more relevant. And we'll click it into the category one of these need to be selected, so we'll choose Residential Demolition. And to add the image, you go to Set Featured Image on the right-hand side, the Media Library, 
and we can select this image here which is the two trucks together actually I'll use that one there but before oh actually I will set the featured image which is a blue button on the far right you'll find it's here publish image and when you publish it and go back to the portfolio click onto the portfolio button and then you will see new asbestos project click onto the circle on the left and there you have it new asbestos project with the two trucks in place now if we go if we want to edit this page which you will you'll want to change it or give it a better description but to add new images you go to add media Upload files, select file, and then from your desktop you'll select the images that you want to use. Make sure you name name them, give them a name of one of the phrases that I've given you because I have emailed you the keyword list. Uh, so for example, I'll choose file horse, which is sitting on my desktop. Uh, open and the file horse is there. So you'll find this image is now in your media library, but because it has nothing to do with your website, I will delete this image permanently as you don't need it. And that's how easy it is to add images to your media library, which you can then insert either into your caption, but for the portfolio, you want to choose it as the featured image, which goes into this box here on the far right. When that's done, you just update, press the blue button, update, which is saving that page. And we go back to the website asbestosplus.com.au. Wait till it comes up. Select portfolio. And there it is, the new asbestos project. So I hope you found this video helpful. That's how you manage this theme and your website and if you need any more um, help or assistance feel free to call us at uh, Web Design in Sydney on 02956965680 that's our website and our number up here and uh, we'd be happy to help you with any further work and um, the time is coming up that we need to do the off-page search engine optimization for you at least one month's worth just so we can push you over to page one because once you get there that's when all the inquiries will be coming through hope you found this video useful and it'll the link will be available for you to access at any time day or night to make your own changes on your website so thanks for watching and enjoy your website as it will continue to rise to page one and once it gets there just um, wait till all the inquiries and the emails come through and the new clients that you'll gain for that and that will be great that's, that's when you'll understand the true value of the site okay then we'll have a great week and i'll speak to you soon